Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I finally am getting around to filming this video. I've wanted to do this for a while. Um, I just didn't know if there would be interest and some of you said you would love to see it. So here we are. Um, I'm gonna talk today a little bit about my favorite Scentsy wax combos. I have been using Scentsy wax probably I would guess around 10 years. Oh yeah, probably. Yeah, around there, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. I'm just thinking that I think I've lived here for six and I was in my last place for three. And that was around, when I moved in there, I think was around the time I first started buying Scentsy Wax, not Scentsy Warmers. I would buy the cheapest warmers I could find, <laughs> but I knew <clears throat> that Scentsy had the best wax, you know, strongest, longest lasting, best value for your money kind of thing. <laughs> um, so yeah, over time I have gotten rid of all of those <laughs> and I now have, I have a lot of warmers. I have more Scentsy warmers than I should for the amount of space that I have, but they're beautiful. They're works of art. Um, I have had to replace one um, due to a pet incident. Um, yeah, long story, but I used to have a couple of kitties, uh, one of which used to be in my videos pretty often, actually, the last year or two of her life. And she broke not only my most expensive warmer at that time, um, but it was probably my favorite <laughs> and I did replace it when I had like a decent sensi pay. So I am a consultant, but I'm not, I don't really actively sell. I just, I'm a consultant for myself, essentially. Um, the odd time, like a friend or family member might want something and I'll order it, but I am not by any means, I don't really, honestly, I forget that I'm a consultant because it's just like part of who I am that I get my Scentsy and then I get my Scentsy pay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's not something I really think about as income. Um, I look at it as as long as Scentsy is willing to pay me commission, I'm going to keep spending some money there because I do love Scentsy. Having said that, it's extremely overpriced. Everything is. I mean, <laughs> um, but Scentsy in general, their products are great, the quality is good. I get why they charge what they charge to a certain ex extent, but it's definitely a lot of the stuff is is way overpriced in my opinion. So I'm very careful about how I spend my money, when I spend my money. Um, I use my club to get the discounts and I don't like spending a lot on shipping. You guys have heard me talk about that, but um, yeah, I've had a pretty cool journey along the last nine, 10 years I've been using this stuff and learned a lot along the way. I use more wax now than I used to. I have more warmers than I used to. Um, yeah, I go through a lot. You guys, um, those of you who watch my home fragrance empties um, can attest to that. So I think I have Everything that I have planned for this video, I think I have physically here. Um, there may be one or two things that come up that I that pop into my head that I forgot about that I don't have to show you because I have been going through my stash. In fact, I noticed while preparing for this video this morning that I am out of or on my last bar of some of my favorites. So that's gonna definitely affect my Scentsy Club. I'm probably gonna have to throw some stuff in there to start getting my my favorites back um, in the house because I get like, I don't know, is it just me? I get like panicky when I don't have my favorite. I normally don't let that happen, but I'm pretty sure I don't have any Luna in the house right now, which is like crazy. Um, so that'll be going, I'll be getting some of that soon, but uh, yeah. I think pretty much I have everything here. Oh yeah, for sure actually there is something I don't have, but we'll get into it. Okay, so here it is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock some wax on the floor really quick. And again, been doing this for how many years? I still don't know how to edit really. So 
I'm gonna have to go get that wax I just dropped and I'm sorry. And I'm gonna have to do it very carefully because you guys know I love knocking over the camera. BRB. Where did it go? Must be far. Did something else fall? Yep. <laughs> oh, some things never change, eh? <laughs> it's my last bar of lemon sorbet. That's what fell. <laughs> Let's talk about it, shall we? Oh, she's oily. She's juicy. Okay, let's talk about lemon sorbet. I feel like fate is telling us to start here. So, I didn't used to like citrus, like at all. And I would have probably told you that lemon is my least favorite of all the citruses. And then I found lemon sorbet. And then I found blue grotto. <laughs> um, and things just kind of changed after that. So, lemon sorbet is not a cleaner type lemon scent. It's more of obviously a sweet lemon, hence why I love it. It's a decent performer, I would say medium strength and throw. It literally smells like lemon rind and lemon sorbet mixed together. There's enough of that like tangy rind note in it to sort of cut the sweetness enough to make it palatable, right? <sighs> now I wanna warm this. I was trying so hard to hold on to it until spring. I'm gonna be really upset if this doesn't come back because I took it out of my club. I took it out of my club because it usually comes back. So yeah, oh dang. Okay, so let's talk. Favorite mixes of lemon sorbet. I have, I have three, I have two, and then there's like another one that I enjoy. So I do enjoy mixing lemon sorbet with happy birthday. Now, guys, when I say that I mix wax, generally speaking, I do one cube of each or two cubes of each in the same warmer. Because yes, sometimes, I, I, it is not uncommon for me to put four cubes in a warmer. Almost all of my warmers hold four cubes. So it depends how strong the scent is. Um, but I'll use anywhere from one to four cubes per warmer. So one or two of each. Now, if one scent is way stronger than the other, I might do one of the weaker one with two of the other so I can actually get that scent blend. With this one, that is what I would do. I would do two lemon sorbets to one happy birthday because happy birthday, it's strong. I think this might be my last happy birthday in my stash also. It's literally cake. Uh, it, you can smell this is a horrible way to describe it, but you can smell like the bakery part of it and a little bit of vanilla. And you can almost get like a chocolate, but not enough for it to smell like chocolate, if that makes sense. So yeah, I like that combo. I like it, but I love this combo. Sugar cookie, lemon sorbet, dang, dang, lemon cake but good lemon cake. Um, do you guys remember that lemon drizzle cake, I think it was called, in the, I wanna say it was the Easter collection last year, 2021? It had like a lavender, oh, it had like a powdery, mm. If it wasn't for that, it would have been amazing, but this, this is amazing. Now, sugar cookie, I find extremely light. I, I do like to let this one cure. I'm actually warming it right now. This is my last Scentsy Brick in my current collection. Isn't that crazy? Um, but I, this is old. I've had this sitting here for a while. I had another sugar cookie brick that I was using. So this one has sat for a while and cured. And I will say it's stronger now than it used to be. But normally because this is so light for me, I would do one of this to two of this. If that makes sense. That's my ratio, one to two play around. Do what works for you. I'm a fruity girl. Number one scent preference, fruity. Then like sweet fruity, any fruity. <laughs> um, and then I like, you know, clean, fresh, and then bakery. I'm just starting to learn to love bakery the last couple of years. So if you're more of a bakery gal, do way more of this than a little of this. Mess around with it. I love this combo. If you haven't tried it, try it. And then 
I would say this is kind of tied with that combo. I'm obsessed with this as well. I love doing this in the spring and summer. Lemon sorbet again, sugared strawberry. Dang. This is your perfect strawberry lemonade. And it works because in, I mean, it would work anyway. Strawberry and lemon are great together. Sweet, sort of tart sweet, right? Um, but sugared strawberry, I believe, has currant as well as lemon in it. Meyer lemon, I want to say. This, is, this bar is going to be juicy because I know it's old, so I'm going to be careful opening it here. That's not too bad. Um, <sighs> I love sugared strawberry. Dang, I think I took this out of my club too. Now, I have a fair bit of this in my stash. It's built up over time, but oof, I just had an epiphany. If this doesn't come back... I might be heartbroken. I hope it does. I think it came back last year, did it? It's like, it's like strawberry bubblicious bubble gum. Like it's just dang good. And it goes very well with this. This is a little stronger and performs a little better for me. So sometimes I'll do two to one. Sometimes I'll do one to one. I like to mess around with it, but this is, oh, this combo. Oh, it smells like a spring summer drink. Heaven, heaven. If you haven't tried it, please try it. Okay. I think that's it for my lemon sorbet mixes. Yes, it is. So there was three lemon sorbet mixes. While I have sugared strawberry out, so obviously I like to mix it with the um, lemon sorbet. My other favorite combo with this. <laughs> I know it sounds very sweet, sugared strawberry, sugar cookie, but this I love to melt together when I burn strawberry pound cake from BBW, which is one of my all time favorite fragrances. Strawberry pound cake is more like syrupy, sickeningly sweet. This is also very sweet. This is a very similar vibe, obviously, strawberry and sugar cookie. It goes so well with that candle. And if you don't have a candle, this is a good enough combo to kind of get you the vibe, right? So just try this and you'll kind of see what I'm saying. Oh, it's so good. If you have any um, sugared strawberry in your stash and you ha can get this, have this, order this, um, try it, let me know. This is a really, really good one. It's one of my favorites. Is anyone finding that the new clamshells for the bricks are crap? They just literally fall apart now? Oof, I'm not opening that anymore because I'm gonna make a mess if I do. So yeah, try it, you gotta, you gotta. Okay, um, and my last sugar cookie combo, which is a fairly newer mix for me, this is so good. My beloved blueberry rush and sugared strawberry. Mm. I don't know if I've ever talked about this combo on my channel. I probably have. You guys know, those of you who have been with me and you've heard me go on and on and on, blueberry rush is in my top five for sure, if not my top three of all time. And these are both good performers, so I would probably do one-to-one -one every time. I think I've only ever done one-to-one -one ratio, like two and two in each warmer. Sweet, candy, fruity goodness. And that's all I ever want. I mean, that's that's my jam, right? So if you have these two, please try them. Um, Blueberry Rush it has not been available other than in Bring Back My Bar in a long time, I have in my club. This is one that has never left my club. I used to rant and friggin' rave about this scent. And I think people thought I was crazy because they're like, what is blueberry? We don't ever see this scent. And then it got voted back. I don't know. Someone must have voted like a lot. <laughs> um, I find this is a scent you either love it or you really, really don't. Oh, I could go on and on about that scent, but that's not why we're here today. So great combo. Try it. And there was something I didn't want to forget. Oh, yes. While we're talking about sugared strawberry, the other combo that I love to do, and again, the scent isn't available anymore either. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. 
banana ram and sugared strawberry because I used to love um, banana smoothie. Is that what it was? Banana berry. Banana berry. Banana berry smelled like a strawberry banana smoothie. And I had it in my club for a long time. And I finally had to, to get it, give it the boot just because of the performance. Like, again, love it. But if, it, if it's like a one or two out of ten on strength and throw, it's just not worth that much money for me to have to, like, stand over the warmer and sniff it, you know? So this is kind of a dupe that's a bit stronger. Because Banana Ramba isn't super strong, in my experience. Other people might disagree. Banana Rama is banana runts candy. It's like a powdery banana candy in a good way. Not super strong though. This one actually smells like it's starting to, to change a little bit. This is an old bar. I, I took this out of my club years ago too. The bottom smells better. Yeah, so it literally smells like artificial runts banana candy. I love artificial sweet candy type fragrances, so I love this. Um, and then when you mix it with a sugared strawberry, you get like a strawberry banana smoothie, something like, what did I say it was called? Banana berry, but stronger. <sighs> so good. Amazing combo. Incredible. Love that one. And then the last combo that I have that includes sugar cookie. Have you noticed I love mixing with sugar cookie? <laughs> I just love the scent. It's just butter, vanilla, and sugar. I mean, dang. It's not spicy. It's just basic, bitch, delicious, and I, I love it. Um, sugar cookie with blueberry rush. This is a great combo as well. Love this, but... You gotta like double or triple up on the sugar cookie to even smell it because the blueberry rush is so such a good performer. Um, so if this was a bar, not a brick, I would say maybe do at least one to two, if not one to three. So if you don't like using that much wax, you could do <clears throat> half a cube, say, of blueberry rush in the warmer with one to two cubes of um sugar cookie play around again do you right like i prefer the fruity so i like to go heavier on the fruity and yeah this is an amazing combo oh it's like a it reminds me not of like a blueberry muffin which i love the scent of blueberry muffin i love eating blueberry muffin um i said i wasn't gonna open this again and then i did it is. It's like a blueberry muffin, but sweeter. You know what it's like? A vanilla cupcake or sugar cookie with like blueberry jam. It's so good. Just, just try it if you can. Okay. We're getting there. <laughs> um, oh, I lied. There's another blueberry rush combo. And Many of you have heard me talk. This is probably the combo I have talked about the most on my YouTube channel. Because it might have been the first combo I tried, actually. Um, my beloved. Blueberry Rush. Pink Haze. This. These two mixed together are very similar to Angel Experiment 624. Another scent you've heard me go on and on and on and on about. Um... Speaking of that, I will put in the description box below um, a couple of links. I did a video comparing Blueberry Rush to Berry Bright and Angel Experiment 624. And then I did another one when the Aladdin Three Wishes came out because dang near dupe. Um, I did another comparison of the Aladdin Three Wishes, Berry Bright, I believe, and Blueberry Rush. I'll link them below in case you're interested. I'm sure a lot of you have already watched it, but... Just for those of you um, who want to know what the hell I'm talking about, I'll throw I'll throw them down there for you. Um, yeah, so these two, heaven, and when you mix the colors, it becomes like my favorite color, which is like a lavender purple. Oh, so good. I'm noticing right now, looking at the back of this pink haze, it's extremely discolored. Pink haze always discolors on me. It goes like a, it goes pale. This didn't. Um, this one's almost going like a yellowy orange, which is different for me. I'm not used to that. But Pink Haze is a true sweet spun sugar 
cotton candy type scent, which is so my thing. Oh yeah, that's, <laughs> that's spun sugar. I think it's supposed to have vanilla marshmallow and berries or something. Sorry, one sec. And this bar, obviously, you can tell by the discoloration that this bar has cured a bit. It's getting a little older. So it's getting stronger, too. Oof, is it ever. Yeah, they just... Oh, they're so good. I mean, sweet berries, right? Like, with lots of sugar. This is probably at least top three scent combos that I've ever tried. I go back to this one time and time and time and time again. Okay. Is that it for that? I'm trying to keep things clumped together so that I'm not jumping all over the place. And that way, um, if you have any of these, you can, you can try them, right? So I'm trying to remember, I'm just checking. I did a little bit of note, just give me one sec. Oh yes, yes, okay. The last sort of fruity combo, um, and again, newer to me, but dang. Pink Haze again, sugared strawberry. Very similar tone to the last mix, but different because it's strawberry, obviously, instead of blueberry. Mm. Smells like opening a bag of Starburst. You're welcome. <laughs> try it. You can thank me later. I promise. Okay. This is a newer combo for me, but dang. This is a brand new scent this catalog season, the Frosted Vanilla. Spoiler alert. I already put this in my club. Okay. In the clam, this is like odd. When this scent warms, holy shit. It's so good. I can't even describe it. It's like in the clam, you definitely get vanilla and like a cool minty tone and then like a woods. But it's kind of odd. I remember being kind of like, mm, when I when I hauled it. Um, but warming, warming, it's just like a, almost like a floral vanilla, not an edible vanilla but a warm vanilla with a little woods. And I wouldn't say you get, I don't get any mint when it's warming, thank goodness, because I'm very picky about mint, I'm not a huge fan, but there is a coolness. As we're in here in the clam, it smells like mint. <sighs> On friggin' real. But how random, I always have Atlantic air in my bedroom because I always want it. This is the one I will go back to time and time and time and time again. I'm warming it right now. Um, so in one warmer I had this and then in the other warmer I had um, Atlantic Air in my bedroom and kind of forgot about it. Cause usually I leave one warmer going overnight and then the other one I use during the day cause it has light in it. Um, yeah, so I had forgotten to turn the overnight one off and I walked into my bedroom and I was like, whoa. <laughs> whoa it's impossible to describe because atlantic air is is literally like fresh clean air this is a very juicy bar so i have to be careful oh my god it's so good and who would have thunk it frosted vanilla atlantic air it just works it just works um atlantic air is not currently available is it no, they tend to discontinue it every fall, winter. Is this my club? I'm just having a moment of panic here. Did I take this out of my club? Sorry, this is why these videos end up so long. I just, I spiral. <laughs> Dang, I know what I'm doing after I film this. I'm checking my club. Or did I just assume it would come back? Because it doesn't always come back. Anyway. Try this combo if you can. <laughs> and um, please cross your fingers, toes, and eyes along with me. That Atlantic air comes back. Okay. 
last but not least. And this is probably the second most <clears throat> um, discussed scent combo on my channel because I'm obsessed with it. And I don't have one of the bars. This is the one that I don't have. So I, I'm on the fence about getting a brick of it. So Autumn Road Trip mixed with, if I had it in my hand, Johnny Appleseed. <laughs> I used up my last one this fall. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <sighs> my all-time favorite fall fragrance is Autumn from BBW. Autumn Road Trip is like 80% the same as Autumn. But Autumn, the apple note is amped up a bit, which I prefer because again, how many times have I said this? I'm a fruity gal, but this does have some apple in it. It's like apple and fresh air and woods. I say this every single time. It smells like walking through the forest and picking apples and slicing them open. And Johnny Appleseed is straight up Mac Apple with the peel. You can smell the peel. So it's just, oh, what a friggin' combo. And I do one to one with that. Now I want to warm this. It's January and I want a warm autumn road trip. This is one of those scents that I feel like works in the living room, in the bathroom, in the bedroom. Love it, love it, love it. Fresh air, woodsy, a little bit of apple. And then I add a little more apple with the Johnny. Dang. This, um, it's available right now. I want to say this is the second year, third year? Third year probably that this has been available. It's a fairly new scent, but people must like it because it does seem to come back. I do have this in my club. Um, I just put it in my club because I know that the spring summer catalog is coming soon and I was afraid that I would forget to add it and then if it didn't come back, I would be pissed at myself. So yeah, if you haven't tried Autumn Road Trip yet and you like clean scents or fruity scents and you're not a big spice fan like myself, um, I think that's why I'm not a huge fan of most, not most, but some fall winter fragrances. This is just, they're so bakery spicy and I can do a little bit of it. I can do more bakery than spice cause it's sweeter, but, um, yeah, if you're kind of more like me in that way and you're more into fresh, clean or fruity scents than the spicy gourmand stuff, trust me, just trust me. That is that. I hope I didn't double up on anything. I hope I didn't say the same combo twice. I tried to be organized. I, I did have notes. I did have a plan. But sometimes, you know, the camera gets on and I just get rolling and, you know, the fish brain happens and we end up all over the map. So that's why these videos end up as long as they are. But yeah, those are my favorite Sensi combos. Have you tried any of those combos yourself? If you have, please leave me a comment below because I would love to know. And what are your favorite combos? Because I'm always up to try some new stuff. I have definitely learned that I need to try more things because often when I do, I'm like, why didn't I try that sooner? You know, because you read the scent notes and it's sometimes it's just something you think you won't like and then you end up loving it. So um, I love hearing from you guys because I learn a lot from you. Leave me a comment. Let me know. Let me know what you're warming. Let me know what your favorite combos are and if you've tried any of this stuff, guys. And thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you dig this sort of content, make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more. And until next time, <laughs> y'all know what I'm going to say. I hope you all have a wonderfully scented day. Bye, guys.